Come along with me with this day in the life of Daniel. Danny, decor. Danny the dinosaur. Cokes? 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 Oh, you like want to get inside or something? Sorry, man. You gotta walk. Pokemon Go. Hold that, hold that, hold that. Hey, Cokes. Hey, get over here. Cokes. Yeah, you want some Cokes? Cokes? Do that. Oh, dude, gotta play the Super Bowl. What's the Super Boy? It's a uh, Super Nintendo, which is like portable. You can either carry it around with you or have it as like, a console. To hook it up to what the, the Brandon, this is 100% you. Yeah, I know. What the <laughs> dude? <laughs> what the heck? Your coat. In this case, we're using a gloss clear, and it's made for plastic, and the big thing going in you. Sandpaper. So I'm looking for 400, 600, and 2,000. We're gonna get this right now. Be honest, I don't know what any of this is. Oh, yeah. That's where they say the grit. Okay, that's crazy. Ah! Yard work. <laughs> After we get all this, see, the reason why we're doing this is because all of the, when we, the pool guys were here, they left their trucks here. And then all the grass died everywhere. Show them all the grass. So, now we're putting all this soil topper down to plant new grass, and then after that, then we'll do the headlights. I mean the tail lights. Headlights. I gotta tell this boy everything. Some... Did you see that? Took about an hour. The grass is gonna be going back alive. And now it's time to pull my car right up here. All right guys, now we're gonna get into making or re restoring your headlight that possibly could be oxidized like this one is. This one's bad. I've done one so far to try it out to make sure I was doing the right stuff and I've just finished my third coat of the gloss that goes on top. Now to do this, what you're gonna need is three different kind of sandpapers. If your headlights are as bad as mine, then you're gonna wanna get a sandpaper that's 400 grit and then a 600 grit, 600 grit, and then a sandpaper that's the, what was recommended in the video I showed you earlier was 2,000 grit, but the store I went to only has 1,500. So that's what we got. And then I got this clear gloss, and what you wanna make sure is that it will bond to plastic and non-yellowing, and it was also UV resistant, so it'll last long. A squirt bottle with water, because we'll be wet sanding. Rubbing alcohol, masking tape, and paper towels. The very first thing we're gonna be doing is masking off around the headlight so we don't scratch anything when we're doing the sanding or we don't get any residue on when we do the clear coat. So after you've taped this part right here, now you're gonna tape the bag around the entire area so you don't get any overspray. You don't hit the paint with the overspray of the clear wash. All right, now that it's all masked up, what we're gonna do is clean off the headlight completely. As you notice, there's a piece of bird poop here. So thank you, bird, that did that. I'm gonna just kill you. But for now, we're gonna clean this off. And let me show you before and after. So I've already done one headlight. This headlight's a little shady over here. And this headlight is the one that has been restorated. So now we're gonna go on our lowest level of grit sandpaper. So we have 400, and then we're gonna start sanding away. And yeah, you'll see the guy right, right now. What you're gonna do first is sand in a circular fashion, and then at the very end of each, each grit of sandpaper, you're gonna sand horizontally, so that when you spray on the adhesive or the, the clear gloss, it will have something to stick to and it won't run down if it's horizontal and stick to it. So this is the 400 grit sandpaper right here. We're gonna constantly keep it wet with our squirt gun. So we're gonna get this part of it wet real good. 
Just bend that over, and then we're also going to get the tail light, I mean the headlight wet. And as we're sanding it, we're going to get it wet too. I have been sanding it for the past couple minutes, so now I'm going to go around with the horizontal sand. Here we go. Okay, so before we get on to the 1500 grit sandpaper, for your case you might have 2000 grits because then that's what I recommend. But if you have the 1500 or anything like close to that, we are going to wash this off before we use that because if we have sediment like that, it might get stuck into the grit because it's so fine of a sandpaper. So wash it off, then do the same exact thing where you're going to go in a circular motion first and then end with a horizontal motion. Okay, the last thing we're gonna do before we spray is get our rubbing alcohol, put it on a paper towel, and wipe off the surface of the headlight. You don't want any, I mean, this is gonna take off all the sediment and everything like your fingerprints or stuff like on, that's been on there. So when you spray on the clear coat, it'll go on real nice and fine. Okay, once the rubbing alcohol dried, make sure it is completely dry by the way, you are gonna spray on the clear coat. Make sure all the tape is not on the the headlight or make sure all the tape is still where it's supposed to be and it's still covering up the body. Because on mine it came up and just put it back down and it should be good. We're gonna let that dry and we do another coat in about five or six minutes and we're gonna do a total of three coats. Here comes the third and final coat. So after this last coat's dry, now we're just going to take it off and see how the bad boy looks. This is super good. Yee! It's good because if you do something like put a tint over it or something like that in the future, you can do that with making sure that you're gonna get a lot of light through, even with the tint. So, heads up. What are you doing over here? <laughs> Look at this. Modifying my car. Modifying. You you inspire me, Danny. There, there you, you go. Me. Yeah. You inspire there me. You now we're doing the other Mazda 3's lights, my dad's lights, and he's already sand sanded them to where it needs to be, so now we're just gonna be clear coating. And this is the before, and the... Dang, that turned out sweet. What do you say, how many horsepower would this give you, Danny? It, at least 30. <laughs> <laughs> Headlight turning out good. Dude, I don't care what people say, this looks sick. Plastic dip on the side mirrors, like dang, that is sick. Hint, hint, this right here, soon to be there. But not necessarily plastic dip, something else so it goes along with the whole car. I walked past this and I still can't get over how sick it looks. And it's still straightening it out, which is good to me. I gotta get a frame for that bad boy because that thing is tight. Yeah, so I definitely suggest you guys do that to your car. I think all the products cost me less than $15. Let's see. Two, two dollars, three dollars, five, two, three. That all those products cost me ten dollars. Assuming you have a water bottle, I mean a squirt bottle, or even a water bottle, you can punch a little hole in the top and use it as a squirt bottle and paper towels at your house. The rubbing alcohol, the sandpaper, and the that spray-on uh, gloss. Dude, that stuff cost me $10. So if you guys want to make your headlights perfectly shiny and the visibility through them even better than they were before, I definitely suggest you doing that to your car. It's an easy thing. It does take a little long, 
Um, it took me about an hour and a half, but once you start getting going, playing some music, dude, it's, it's like not even a problem. So I suggest you do it. Big things coming soon. Stuff's in the mail right now. Get ready, guys, because car's going to look really cool here in a second. I'm going to leave you at that. This is going to be the end of the video. Thanks for following me along with the day. Guys, thanks a lot for watching, and I'm out of here. Peace out. I ain't got no problem spending all of my money